Hi, my name's Elliot Cole, I'm 19 and I'm from Devon. I'm stood in front of one of our chicken sheds where the litter produced here is used as fuel for our on-farm biogas plant. In return, the heat produced there dries wood chip from sustainable local forests and used as fuel in our biomass boilers to heat the sheds. As well as this, the electricity needed here comes from both the biogas plant and our on-farm wind turbine. We're currently working with a tech startup company called Flox who are developing an artificial intelligence system that will improve bird welfare and boost productivity. This will increase the quality and quantity of British meat produced, whilst also reducing food miles and reducing emissions. Areas of conservation like this are important for wildlife and the surrounding plants and trees are essential for carbon storage. This is why we've applied for grants from the Woodland Trust to plant trees in this surrounding area and we would encourage other farmers to do the same as it is essential for, to reach the goal of net zero by 2040. The muck produced by these bulls once again goes into our on-farm biogas plant. In return, we get natural fertiliser which we use to grow the barley to feed these bulls. This has cut our artificial fertiliser use by 99% and encouraged neighbouring farmers to do the same. This has shown many benefits for soil health as more carbon can be kept in the soil and less nitrous oxide which is released, which is a greenhouse gas. This natural fertiliser is also undergoing trials to be pelletised. This can have many benefits, including easier transportation and increased versatility. Here on the biogas plant, we currently operate using a 30% manure and 70% crop mix. Over the next 12 months, we hope to up that to 50% manure and perhaps even to 80 or 90% in the next three to five years. This is beneficial because less resources are put into growing fuel for the biogas plant and these can be used for food production. Using waste products such as manure makes the whole system much more efficient. To reach net zero by 2040, many things can be done. To me, an important part of this is closed loop farming, where we take waste products and turn them into useful byproducts. That's a big part of what we do here, and although it might not be viable for every farm to have a biogas plant of this size, a smaller one might be a more sensible choice. The waste produced on farm can create electricity to power the farm. Also, excess heat can be recycled for uses in glass houses or vertical farming, which is something we're looking into. As well as this, fuel can be produced, and this is through increased investment in technologies such as biomethane tractors and electric vehicles. However, lots of farmers lack the information and resources to implement these practices effectively and that must be addressed if we are to reach the goal of being net zero by 2040.